Common American Swine Breeds It is believed that the majority of the breeds we know now are descended from the Eurasian wild boar. Archaeological evidence from the Middle East indicates domestication of the pig occurs as early as 9,000 years ago, with some ev evidence for domestication even earlier in China. Figurines, as well as bones, dating to the 6th and 7th millennia BC have been found at sites in the Middle East. Pigs were also a popular subject for statuettes in ancient Persia. From here, the pig spread across Asia, Europe, and Africa. One interesting point, while most livestock were utilized initially by nomadic peoples, swine are more indicative of a settled farming community. The reason for this is simply because pigs are difficult to herd and move long distances. Pigs have become vital to the economy in parts of the world. For example, there exists a pig culture in New Guinea, as strong as any complex in African culture based on cattle. One common U.S. breed is the Yorkshire. The highest population being in Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Nebraska, and Ohio. The modern Yorkshire is very muscular, with a high proportion of lean meat and low back fat. The Yorkshire breed was developed in England in the county of York, hence its name. Farmers realized what they could do for them and soon started to accept Yorkshire breeding stock. Their mothering ability, large litters, more length, more scale, and frame were in such demand that many producers were ready to try Yorkshires again, and this time they were successful. Today, Yorkshires are productive, yet more performance-oriented and more durable than ever. The goal of the Yorkshire breed is to be a source of durable mother lines that can contribute to longevity and carcass merit. Another common U.S. breed is the Landress. Landress, which are noted for their ability to farrow and raise large litters, are the fifth most recorded breed of swine in the entire U.S. In the early 1930s, the United States Department of Agriculture entered into an agreement with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Denmark for the purchase of 24 Danish Landress. This stock was to be used for swine research studies at agricultural experiment stations, with the stipulation that this breed would not be propagated as a pure breed for commercial use. In May of 1949, the USDA petitioned the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Denmark to release its restrictions on the propagation of purebred landers in the U.S. This request was granted, and the, U and the American Landers Associated was formed in 1950 to register and promote the sale of purebred breeding stock. The Landers breed is promoted on its ability to cross well with other breeds, as well as Landers are known for their length of body, high percentage of carcass weight in the ham and loin, and ideal amount of finish. Landers are prolific sows that farrow large pigs and which are exceptionally heavy milkers. These traits have designated the Landers breed as America's sow herd. This is the Chester White. The Chester White breed originated in Chester County, hence its name, in Pennsylvania and thereby derived its breed name. At first it was called the Chester County White, but later the county was dropped. The Chester White breed is known for its mothering ability, durability, and structural soundness. For many years, Chester Whites have been popular with pork producers because of their extreme longevity. Packers prefer Chester Whites because of their white-colored skin is easily removed during the harvesting process. The Durick. In 1812, early red hogs were bred in New York and New Jersey. They were large in size, large litters, and the ability to grow quickly were characteristics of jerks that were possessed from the beginning. Their thick auburn winter coat and hard skin allows them to survive the cold and wet of the British winter. This coat molts out in summer to leave the pig looking almost bald, but as a consequence, it can cope with hot, dry summers equally well. Its tenacity in looking after its young combined with its docility between times makes it an ideal candidate for an outdoor pig, either as a dam or sire line, and its succulence and heavy muscling makes it easy and very suitable for anything from light pork to heavy hog production. The Hampshire. The Hampshire breed has been developed in the USA and is now one of the world's most important breeds. The Hampshire is used extensively as the sire of crossbred pigs for the pork and manufacturing markets in the USA and many other countries. It has the reputation of being the leanest of the North American breeds and the majority of carcass competitions in North America are won by Hampshires and Hampshire crosses. The Pull in China. It is unbeatable among various breeds of swine for the characteristic of maximum weight at any given age. The Pull in Chinas are excellent feeders 
and they gain readily under conditions of good care and management. There are hogs that are very quiet in their dispositions and are rugged in their constitutions. The breed is known for having very substantial bone and for being sound in its feet and legs. There is no criticism to be made of the prolificacy of the Poland China hogs, although during the era of the hot blood, prolificacy was temporarily sacrificed. During the craze of the so-called big type, the breed became very prolific, and litters of 16 and 17 pigs were not at all uncommon. These sows, however, were usually so large and flat-sided that they made poor mothers and overlaid many pigs the first few days after farrowing. The better mother than the extreme types that have preceded it. There are no modern data as to the exact number of pigs raised by the various breeds. The pole in China has established its reputation and remains popular in commercial hog circles, attest to the fact that it is a breed not to be criticized for inability to raise large, satisfactory litters. The Berkshire. However, the breed was influenced by the introduction of Chinese and Siamese blood, which resulted in the development of the Berkshire we are familiar with today. This is a smaller animal, black in color with prick ears, white socks, white tip to tail, and flash on face. During 1823, the first Berkshire was exported to the USA. The Berkshire breed has long been known for its efficiency in gaining weight. Berkshire hogs have possessed their excellent carcass quality since the early 1800s. The meat quality of the Berkshire is unique because it has a greater proportion of lean meat intermixed with streaks of fat. This intramuscular fat gives more marbling in comparison to other breeds. When cooked, the increased marbling produces a juicier pork product with more flavor for the consumer. Spot. The present-day spots descended from the spotted hogs which trace a part of their ancestry to the original Poland China, which consisted of six separate breeds and was referred to as the Warren County Hog of Ohio. There were a number of well-known breeders in central Indiana who had been breeding these spotted hogs to the exclusion of all others for many years, and due to the general demand for them, the need had arisen for an organization to record and promote the big-boned, prolific spotted hog as a separate and distinct family. Spots have continued to, to improve in feed efficiency, rate of gain, and carcass quality, as can be proven in the testing stations throughout the country. Spots are popular with farmers and commercial swine producers for their ability to transmit their fast-gaining, feed-efficient meat qualities to their offspring.